children welcome to bright stars high school this video is for fifth class students the subject is social studies and the topic is know your planet first let us read the lesson know your planet get started our earth is a unique planet it is the only planet in our solar system that has water and air our earth has land masses and water bodies the large land masses are called continents the large water bodies are called oceans see map 1.1 and learn the names shape of the earth in ancient times people believed that the earth was flat and had steep edges ferdinand magellan a portuguese explorer sailed around the world and proved that the earth is round Pictures taken from space have also proved that the earth is like a sphere. It is round but is slightly flattened at the top and at the bottom. What is a globe? To study the earth, we need its model. A globe is a simple and accurate model of the earth. It shows the distribution of land and water on the surface of the earth. We can also see the correct shape, size and location of the continents and oceans on a globe but we cannot always use a globe to study the earth this is because a large globe is difficult to carry around a globe is small and all the details of a place cannot be shown on it we cannot make a globe for a part of the earth only one half of the earth can be seen at a time on a globe In the previous page they told us to learn the seven continents and five oceans in the world see children in this map you can find the seven continents the continents names are north america south america europe africa asia australia and antarctica and the names of the five oceans in the world are arctic ocean atlantic ocean antarctic ocean indian ocean and pacific ocean children try to learn their names and understand the next part of the lesson maps a map is a representation of the earth surface or a part of it on a flat surface the word map comes from the latin word mapo which means a napkin gerardus mercator a flemish map maker was the first to publish a collection of maps in the form of a book a book of maps is called an atlas we can draw maps on a flat surface to show continents countries cities and even a neighborhood you can draw a map of your school and show all the details on it in this way a map is better than a globe however the earth is spherical in shape and its surface is curved a curved surface cannot be shown correctly on a flat surface such as paper try to cover a ball with a sheet of paper without creasing it you will not be able to do it so it is not possible to make an accurate map of a curved surface however small area can be represented fairly accurately on maps this makes maps useful tools to study the earth types of maps there are different types of maps physical maps show the physical features of a place such as mountains plateaus plains and rivers countries states and their capitals are shown on political maps general information about climate and rainfall of a region is shown in climatic maps besides these there are maps that tell us about the industries population transport minerals crops soil natural resources forests and wildlife of a region checkpoint click and choose the correct answers children try to answer these questions the large water bodies on the earth are called dash 
C3 options are given. Lakes, oceans and continents. So, which is the correct answer? The large water bodies on the earth are called oceans. Second question. The earth is cylindrical, triangular, spherical in shape. So, which is the correct answer? The earth is spherical in shape. Third question. A globe is a diagram, map, model of the earth. So, which is the correct answer? A globe is a model of the earth. Fourth question. The first person who published a collection of maps was Copernicus, Magellan and Mercator. The first person who published a collection of maps was Gerardus Mercator. He was a Flemish map maker and he was the first one to publish the uh, publish a collection of maps in the form of a book. So, what is a book of maps called as? It is called as an atlas. Let us continue the lesson. Reading maps. Maps give us a lot of information about a country or a place. We must know how to read a map and understand the information it provides. Every map has some basic features. They are as follows. Directions. All maps follow a system of directions. The four major directions are North, South, East and West. The top of the map is North. The bottom of the map is South. East is to the right and west is to the left. The directions on a map can also be shown by an arrow marked N, which points towards the north direction. The other directions are then easy to find. We can also mark the four intermediate directions on a map. Northeast lies between the north and the east. Northwest is between the north and the west. Southeast is between the south and the east. Southwest lies between the south and the west. Scale. It is not possible to show the actual size of the earth on a map because it is too large. Let us suppose that the ground Distance between Delhi and Agra is 200 kilometers. It is not possible to show these cities at 200 kilometers from each other on the map. Therefore, this distance is represented by a smaller unit, say 5 centimeters on the map. The ratio between the distance on the ground and the distance on the map is known as the scale of the map. In this case, we would write it as 5 centimeters is to 200 kilometers. Maps are always drawn to scale. Symbols. There is not enough space on a map to show mountains, rivers, lakes, bridges, dams, temples, churches and railway tracks. However, a map without this information would not be useful. Different symbols are therefore used on a map to give us this information. For example, the land boundary of a country is shown by thick dashes and dots in black. A city is marked by a small circle. Colors. We use different colors to show various things on a map. Generally, maps follow a common color scheme. For example, on a physical map, water bodies are shown in shades of blue. Light blue is used for shallow waters and a darker shade of blue for deep waters. Plains or lowlands are shown in the shades of green. Highlands are shown in shades of green. A key is given on a map to help us understand the color scheme and the symbols used. Its key shows the height of the land above the sea level or depth of water below sea level. It also shows what the colors represent on the map. So that ends the first lesson of 
social studies know your planet children try to read the lesson and try to pick out difficult words and write them in your notebook for further learning thank you bye